What's your name? David McFarland. And uh, what do you do for PUI? I am a validation test engineer. Mm -hmm. So basically what that means is I take this wonderful vehicle yep. out into the real world and try to test the crap out of our devices and make sure that they work. And if they don't, then get in contact with the engineers and see what we can do about fixing them. So how many miles do you put on a year? Oh goodness, before COVID, I actually put on quite a bit. I was doing loops and trips of about three, 4,000 miles a loop and that'd be about in a week and I could do that once or twice every couple of months. Um, since COVID, we do a lot more local driving, so it's a lot shorter trips, but still has actually has its uh, benefits. But on average, I'm probably still doing about, oh goodness, four or 5,000 a month, give or take the month, sometimes more, sometimes less, but still plenty. Yeah, 50, 60,000 Oh yeah, and then with the, with the amount of devices we have in here, that translates into hundreds of thousands of miles of test uh, testing through all the uh, individual devices. Yeah, I mean, I saw the panel you have in the back there. Exactly. You have one of everything at exactly, least. Exactly, exactly. What would you say is the most unexpected plus of working, of doing what you do? I would say the uh, travel, getting to be able to get out and see parts of the country that I haven't been able to have the opportunity to. And in doing so, that helps us find areas that the engineers may have not thought was going to be an issue. Seeing different uh, cellular networks, different, you know, parts of the country where the geography can change how a device works. So being able to get out there into the real world and me being able to see parts of the country that norm would normally be able to see uh, is fun for me. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's also beneficial for, you know, the engineers. They encounter problems that they wouldn't be able to see behind their uh, desk or behind their screen. It allows, you know, us to get more real-world information to make the uh, devices more robust. What's the coolest place in the U.S. that you had no idea was that cool? Oh, goodness. Coolest place in the U.S.? Um, I did a drive down the uh, Columbia River Gorge and there are very stunning waterfalls. Now I've seen pictures of some of these waterfalls and kind of you see a picture of something you're like oh that's really nice but you don't really take you know inventory as to where that actually is in the real world and then how as I'm driving down there I see these things and I'm like oh, I'll stop by and check that out. I got to see some of the most uh, astounding waterfalls that I would have never thought to even uh, check. You know, oftentimes when I would drive because I'm going to go visit family or something along those lines, I'm going to get to point A from point, you know, or point B from point A and stopping along the way, I don't have time to do that. And then, you know, on this because my whole purpose is just to drive. You know, I've got to be out on the road for no other reason than to do that. And so, you know, I'm allowed to stop at, the, you know, these places and getting to see some of the scenery that's out there has been uh, been very uh, rewarding for sure. That sounds like a dream job for oh, a lot no, of it's, people. Oh, it's, no, I, I have no complaints for sure. That is very cool. And on some of these places you were saying sometimes the geography will introduce... Oh, for sure. You know... Challenges. Well, well, challenges, exactly. What's the... What might be the weirdest one you've come across? Oh, goodness. Um, probably the weirdest is the really remote areas, middle of Nevada, where I can be in an area of Nevada where there isn't a cellular signal for hours. I mean, I've been so deep into some, you know, bad areas where when I come out, my cell phone is stopped trying to find a signal and if I don't realize it to reset my phone I won't have a cellular signal because it's just given up and you know that for the first time that I did that I was thinking to myself I'm like I'm in pretty uh what I would assume decent coverage I mean there's towns I see things and my phone's still not working and I realized well my phone gave up <laughs> you know and you know having to know that our devices now know to do that they don't they don't give up you know they constantly look for that uh, you know connection so that when they do come back all they've saved all that information and as soon as they have the ability to send it out it sends it out so 
you know, it, someone's never actually lost. They may be lost for a minute or, you know, for a couple of hours while they're out there in the middle of nowhere, but they're still being tracked. That is very, very cool. Well, man, I can't thank you enough for, uh, for uh, talking to us and uh, best of luck, stay safe. Oh yes, thank you.